IISD Reporting Services is here in Paris for the Climate Change Talks, reporting on selected site events. On Thursday, the 3rd of December, the Gulf Corporation Council hosted a panel discussion on renewable energy initiatives through economic diversification. The panel showcased commitments throughout the region that are paving a pathway for renewable energy while providing both environmental and economic benefits. Saudi Arabia has played a vital role during the past 80 years to become a reliable source of energy trusted um, energy for, uh, for its partners around the world. We want to continue to do this. We want to become the kingdom of sustainable energy and the most reliable supplier of sustainable energy to the world as well. That takes collaboration and takes partnerships. Why we, are, we need to go to renewable energy? First, rising energy demand. For example, in Qatar, three time uh, population is grows in the last 10 years. Ali al-Shafar from the United Arab Emirates highlighted 840 million U.S. dollars in grants and soft loans in 28 countries dedicated to renewable energy development assistance. It does make uh, basically economic sense for us to, uh, to take on renewables. The kingdom is in fact engaged very significantly and very seriously um, in renewable energy. At home, the kingdom is busy preparing a significant program of renewable energy deployment, but what it wants to do is to make sure that it captures maximum economic value to itself. Already, Saudi companies have invested over five and a half billion US dollars uh, in renewable energy capacity plants, um, and they are currently working on another 16 billion dollars of investments uh, in several countries around the world. Panelists shared experiences and reported on progress being made in research and development. Saudi Aramco is, a, uh, is the world's largest oil and gas company and we're currently looking into renewable energy and we're focusing on renewable technology assessment, project development, as well as market assessment and uh, localization efforts. Efforts have been exerted in creating a solar testing facility in Lahran, the eastern province of Saudi Arabia, which consists of more than 30 different technologies of solar PV as well as CPV. Our aspirations while um, meeting the ever increasing demand of energy is to become um, an active participant in the technology development of renewable uh, energy technology. So acquisition of IP and advancing research um, is big on our agenda. We believe that there is significant opportunity in CSP, concentrated solar power, for Saudi Arabia to uh, add value and also not only export energy, but export technology as well. Although more is known of the solar resources, the Gulf region is also rich in wind capacity. For a long time, uh, it was believed that uh, wind energy is not very abundant in the, uh, in the kingdom. And, uh, uh, it's not very efficient, not, not very much. Uh, but it has a number of important advantages. It is available around the clock. Uh, solar energy is not available, available in the night. Uh, and it is not as uh, strong affected by dust deposition as solar energy. Participants engaged in discussions on household supply to national grid systems, potential for partnerships with Africa, and methods of disposal of equipment used in renewable technologies. Ultimately, it all comes down to cost competitiveness, and renewables are able to deliver to that objective. Select the right technology, design it in detail properly, get the best value, go to the market and convince a supply chain to adopt a cost plus reasonable margin. Panelists emphasize the need to build human capacity and deliver social co-benefits, such as job creation. One of the um, most important um, ring of this long value chain is related to people. We have to build human capacity that is equipped with uh, curiosity uh, and skills to uh, fill all the positions that will be available in research, production, maintenance, etc. So our uh, award-winning Mishkat Interactive Center for Atomic and Renewable Energy was established from day one to offer a safe place for the public at large to engage with us, to experience and challenge our uh, aspirations as well. We're very happy as Aramco to be able to share and present this information here at COP21 and to be able to shed some light on what we're doing and help the negotiators uh, in any way possible. 